Sudan. Mixed Arab Sudanese paramilitary group kills up to 15,000 Africans. A recent UN report read by Reuters reveals that between 10,000 and 15,000 people were killed in El Ganina, West Darfur State by the paramilitary rapid support forces and allied militias of Arab African descent during the war in Sudan, which started on April 15, 2023, between the Sudanese Armed Forces, SAF, under Abdel Fattah El Burhan and the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, under Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo, aka Hameti. Independent UN monitors maintain that the United Arab Emirates provided military support to the RSF several times per week via Amjaris Chad. The UAE claims it sent 122 flights to deliver humanitarian aid to Amjaris, which is several hundred kilometers from where around 500,000 people have fled from neighboring Sudan. Among those refugees are people from the Masalit ethnic group who were targeted by the RSF for ethnic cleansing in West Darfur. The independent monitor said that, quote, when reaching RSF checkpoints, women and men were separated, harassed, searched, robbed, and physically assaulted. RSF and allied militias indiscriminately shot hundreds of people in the legs to prevent them from fleeing, unquote. As mentioned in Reuters, quote, everyone who spoke to the monitors mentioned many dead bodies along the road, including those of women, children, and young men. The monitors also spoke of widespread conflict-related sexual violence committed by RSF and allied militia, unquote. According to Reuters, the Masalit were the majority group in El Ganina, West Darfur, until the exodus to Chad. The monitors believe the takeover of Darfur was made possible by, quote, Arab allied communities, dynamic and complex financial networks, and new military supply lines running through Chad, Libya, and South Sudan, unquote. The governments of Chad, Libya, and South Sudan have declined to respond to Reuters' request for comment Included in the financial networks is the gold business, which the RSF uses to, quote, acquire weapons, pay salaries, fund media campaigns, lobby, and buy the support of other political and armed groups, unquote. Prior to the war, the RSF exported the gold to the UAE. Now it smuggles it to Egypt. The gold has given the RSF overwhelming firepower on the battlefield against the SAF. Since December 27th, RSF leader Hameti has visited Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, Kenyan President William Ruto, Djibouti President Ismail Omar Gele, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, and Rwandan President Paul Kagame.